Shalom, for as well, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, Yahweh being the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem meaning in the name, Racha meaning spirit, and Kodash is holy, which I, of course, uttered in the Paleo Hebrew, in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue, the language, of course, of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son's. The language that has been returned onto us, which are the Hebrew Israelites, so called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, and of course the confusion of face, those Israelites that look like the rest of the heathen, but the Spirit bear witness with the scriptures and it's revealed that they are the Israelites as well. Okay, this is here a uh, Something off of FEMA. Okay, so it says here, I pause national tests. In a slach, if I haven't said it, of course, double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who well, peace and salutation all since your All right, so uh, yeah, you have it here, the I pause national tests, which, let me see, today is currently October the 4th here in Great Babylon. I'm doing this at the Late hours, 9.51 p.m. Now, yesterday, there was a alert that was sent out, which certain people received, certain people didn't, which this article is going to go on to. And it was a presidential alert. Now, I'm going to read the article. It says here, or actually, this is actually off the FEMA.org. It says here that I pause a national test PSA. It says a public... Service announcement with FEMA, which FEMA, I believe that stands for Federal Emergency Management Agency, if I'm not mistaken. It says, I pause national tests of wireless emergency alerts, or WEA, and emergency alert system, which is EAS. The national EAS and the WEA tests will be held on the backup date of October the 3rd, 2018, beginning at 2.18 p.m., which when I received that alert, it was around 4 o'clock-ish. It says here, actually, I can I can actually confirm at this time. Let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and actually look on my phone and see what it actually says so I can be more accurate. Yeah, I received it October the third, and it was at two eighteen. So yeah, that was uh that was on. Well, it says two eighteen, but I mean, I seen it around four, but you know, maybe my recollection is off. I'm in the flesh, but going on, it says the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, in coordination with the FCC, our Federal Communication Commission, will conduct a nationwide test of the wireless emergency alert. And uh, emergency alert systems. So they, they, of course, put out a test. I'm going to skip down and go into it. It says the WEA test message will be sent to cell phones that are connected to wireless providers participating in WEA. So certain wireless providers don't uh, participate. So thus meaning that certain people didn't receive the message. It, it says thus is the fourth E. AS nationwide tests and the first nationwide or national WEA test. Previous EAS national tests were conducted conducted uh, November 2011, September 16, 2016. Slock it says in September 2017, in collaboration the FCC broadcaster emergency management officials in recognition of the FEMA's National Preparedness Month. It says um, here, it's going into it, it said, this is a test of the National Emergency Alert System. This was developed by broadcast and cable operators in voluntary co cooperation with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. 
the Federal Communication Commission and local authorities to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. It says if it w had been an actual emergency that an official message would be have followed the tone alert you heard at the start of this message, a similar wireless a emergency alert test message will have been sent to all cell phones nationwide. Some cell phones will receive the message. Others will not. No, no action is required. It says here that the ESA, yeah, EAS is based on upon War Powers Act provision of Communications Act of 1934 which provides the presidential access to commercial communications during the state of public peril. Which peril, when we go into the actual meaning of that, you're dealing with dangerous times. I'm going to go and just get that definition. You say we're in perilous times. It says serious and immediate danger. Dangerous. Difficulties that arise from a situation fought with peril, hazard, insecurity, menace, threat. And it says our disaster, our national emergency. Now, I'm going to go into this uh, particular point, which I'm going to, I want to make, is that in these last times, um, there, of course, is going to be a time and when... Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man, the earth is given unto the hand of wicked, which these wicked Edomites, they will, of course, come down and implement their new world order. And part of that is going to be them having these different various terrorist attacks, which when you go into some of these different con conspiracy theories, you find out that, you know, the, the government is in on you know, a lot of the different art, the chaos that happens. That's art order out of chaos. You know, they, of course, want to go about and establish their own plans through chaos. Simple as that. Which America in this world, the financial system is built off of, of course, instability. And this system will come to a, a halt. It's going to crash. And that has been prophesied in the scriptures. Now let's go into this uh, particularly because I said terrorist attacks are going to occur. And it's been of course prophesied in the Bible. And this particular prophet being Iowab or Job. He prophesied or said before. And it says here. I'm going to go to the point. Iowab or Job. 18 and 11 it says. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet, which who are we talking about? We're talking about, of course, the so-called white man. His whole kingdom is going to go down through the terror of Yahweh Shem Shai and these catastrophic events of which shall happen, you know, due in part because of him wanting, of course, these Edomites, the ruling elite wanting to implement their RFID Meyer chip, which is the mark of the beast, which the so called white man who is Esau Edom wants to put everybody in subjection, especially the Israelites, as a way to so called go and get his birthright back, which he sold onto Yaikwab, which that is, of course, the nation of Israel, which Jacob, our forefather, had 12 sons. And that make up the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in which these Edomites, another nation which came out red like a hairy garment, they are at enmity with the nation of Israel. And you can read that, of course, back in the Ba, uh, what's that, uh, in, the, um, in Genesis, or Bara Ashiath, or in the, in the Headings. You can read it all throughout the scriptures. You can see that the reason between the so-called white man's hatred is because we were given the law, statutes, commandments. We were given the blessing of the kingdom of heaven um, to uh, the ultimate rulership. You know? But of course, we had the fall 
and be subject unto vanity. Okay, so I'm gonna go into some more scriptures, but the point being is that these these um these little alerts and stuff is gonna happen like that. You know, you, you get a uh, alert that something just happened, and then before you know, all hell's breaking loose, and it's gonna be like that. It's not gonna be um like something that is um for the lack of words. I mean. It's just gonna occur. It's inevitable, you know. You you can be going about your regular life, and then this just this this uh happens. Something of course occur, and it's gonna be many of these so-called terrorist attacks in which they are going to blame it upon, as what our elders apostles say, since we are a target. Uh, so-called they they're gonna put on blame so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, which is particularly they label us as Black Hebrew Israelites, in which we're not, but they want to us to fit that narrative of the agenda they want to push that we are a threat to their system which all we're doing is prophesying and telling them that their system is gonna go down that they're the devil and that we're waking up our people to their heritage and not to of course uh take this rfid microchip okay but we are a threat. So I'm I'm gonna go back and read this scripture. It says terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. It's gonna bring this complete system down. Alright. So I'm gonna go now to another scripture. Which is gonna be um the book of first Peter five and eight and it says be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, that's the so-called white man, Esau Edom, he's the deceiver. As a warring lion walketh a boat, seeking whom he may devour. And I just to go into the word for vigilant. It's here you got Gregore. Gregoro Slach, if I got the pronunciation mixed up, it says basically to watch, all right, to give strict attention, to be cautious and active, to take heed lest thou, through remission and indolence, some destructive calamity suddenly overtake one. You know, because as it's written, um, uh, what is it about a thief in the night? And that's going to happen like the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief of the night to many people because especially of our people, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, it's going to uh, happen where, you know, it's just going to be surprised them because they're not, they don't take this truth serious. They don't take the prophet serious at all. Let me see. I'm trying to get this to, to pull up thief. Thief. Huh. Slock it, it's it's uh acting slow, so I'm gonna have to get it up, of course, off of uh my uh phone. I'll get a scripture real quick. But yeah, this uh this destruction is gonna happen very quick. All right. I mean, like, it's just gonna happen. It's gonna occur. The time of Jacob trouble and all hell break loose and such. It's gonna happen. Soon. And, and presidential alerts and stuff. That's just telling you, you know, that it's gonna definitely happen very soon. That the elites are planning different things. And gonna bring it into its full fruition very soon. Okay, I got, uh... One of the scriptures of Second uh, Peter's three and ten, it says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise." And this, of course, going into that nuclear destruction, it's gonna come like a a, a, a thief in the night. All right. I'm gonna go to this other scripture. This is First Thessalonians five and four. And it says here, or actually, I could just start here for First Thessalonians five, and 
I'm gonna just start at the top. It says here, I I, I could see if I could bring it up on the screen. Actually, give me one moment. I, I want I don't want to make this lesson too long. I mean, this is all through this period of power. How about Shimel Shai? I don't want to, of course, quench the spirit, but I don't want to make it that long. I just want to make it short and to the point. Is this something I observed? And of course, we're supposed to blow the trumpet and give that warning onto our people. So that blood can be off of our hands. This is First Corinthians, uh, First Test Thessalonians 5 and 1. Alright. First Thessalonians, Thessal oh, this, it's locked. It went to me to Timothy. It's going to be one moment. And it says here, but of the times of and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. This is Paul speaking. For it yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and there they shall not escape and who's not going to escape the two thirds rest of these heathen out there which the two thirds are as heathen they're going to get cut off you know and destroyed it reads on it says but Ye brethren are not in darkness. It says that they should. It says that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. And that's that's very clear, because we have this light, this truth, and we in the knowledge, we under know of what is going to happen, because we have the prophecies. We're in the spirit of prophecy. The brothers uh, at Great Millstone, starting with, of course, our elders and apostles, you know, who broke this uh, these scriptures down, you know, and their elders, uh, yeah, of course, uh, brought out the revelations and such, you know, uh, uh, Abba Bivens and such, you know, coming back, that was uh, uh, John the Baptist, you know, we, we are now woken, simple as that, because before that prior, we were in darkness in this world, was in this world, of course, is, uh, it's it's uh, filled with uh, gross darkness. Gross uh, darkness, uh, you know, basically covers this land. Roughly paraphrasing. But going on, verse uh, five. Uh, this is First Thessalonians five and six. It says, "Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober." And it says, "For they that sleep sleep in the night." And that they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and ahab or love, and for an helmet and the hope of salvation. It says, For Yah the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai appointed us. It's like it says, For the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, and uh, I mean, I'm I'm gonna close out with just that. I'm gonna leave this. Actually, this other scripture, the Psalms 23 and 4, and it says, "Yea, though I walk through the valley of sound of death." I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And that's Yahweh Hashem Yashai, which is with the elect of Yahshua Allah. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Alright? And we have Yahweh Hashem Yashai. So when this calamity comes and falls these people on the earth, we of course will have protection to Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Alright? But it's going to be a time of being tried too. So with that, I'm just going to close out. I just wanted to, you know, go into this a little bit. That this uh, IPAWS national test, which uh, certain people, of course, received this wireless uh, emergency alert. Of course, stay in prophecy. Be vigilant. So that, of course, the coming calamities don't catch you off guard. With that, call Halayim La Yahab Hashem 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 Hashem